welcome to study with d my name is d listen i know how it feels to be frustrated with your research proposal not being able to make sense of what qualitative quantitative studies are or whether you need to make sure that the data collection is right well this is why i'm here i've not only done it once or twice i've done it three times and all those three times i've learned something along the way and i have learned that the most important thing to do is to have a tribe have people that will assist you and this is the reason why i'm here so come along with me on this journey as i take you step by step to how you're going to draft a research proposal from the draft to the final research proposal to you now publishing your own journal article. The first thing that I need to do is we need to outline what exactly goes into a research proposal. You've got your introduction, you've got your data collection, you've got your research methodology, you've got now you reading the results and ultimately you've got your conclusion. But there's one element that we're missing. We've got the big literature review. Now, a lot of people don't want to talk about the literature review. The thing with the literature review is that it can get very daunting. You will find yourself in a situation where you need to now read more than 20 journal articles, depending on how big your research proposal is. And that can be very daunting. And I say more than 20 research articles journal articles that you need to go through why do we need to do this it's because you need to gather data that will corroborate whatever you're trying to study and you need to show the supervisor or show that you have read enough for you to form a concrete base I say it's concrete because then you would be backed up by what? By the journal articles that you've read and by others who have gone before you saying that this is maybe a certain methodology that I used and why did I use that methodology and why is it important? So that is one of the daunting tasks that when we do our literature review and one of the daunting tasks which comes into the research proposal. But firstly, what is research? This is where we need to start. It's, it's you gathering data, isn't it? That is what research is. So what I'm going to do is that with the next video, I'm going to go into you choosing your research topic. When you go to university, congratulations, you have been admitted. The first thing that they would want to see is what is your research topic? The research topic is important, number one, because what do they want to do? They want to see if they can align you to a certain supervisor who is very good in what you are studying, who can assist you along the way, and then who can make sure that you pass at the end of the year. So your research topic is very important. So that's where we're going to start. And then after that, what are we going to do? We're going to now differentiate between qualitative and quantitative studies. Because as you're doing your research, you need to now have an idea of how you'll be collecting data. Will you be using a qualitative method or are you using a quantitative? If you're using a qualitative method, you'll be using a questionnaire that is got all those questions that you want to ask your participants. And then if you're doing a quantitative, you'll be using a survey method, which is usually your yes or no answers, one word answers. But with qualitative, the need for that is that we want to find rich data. So we, this is what we're going to do. I am just scrolling here. I'm going to post these things up. And then what do we need to do? The research article outline, I've identified that in the beginning of this video, but then why or how or what is writing your research proposal? Obviously, like I said, you have your research topic, your research questions, and your research objectives. And that is the first part of your research. Your research topic, you might find it if you've read journal articles or you might think that you have this specific and it's a clever idea and it's a brilliant idea nobody has ever done this topic i implore you to go read those journal articles because as we know there's nothing new underneath the sun 
So most people have gone through this process and somebody might have written this, might have then come up with a different angle, which is where you come in. Because why are we doing this? We want to now make sure that we are feeding into the strong academia. We want to make sure that we are providing substantial information that can assist the next person and that you are now impacting this body of knowledge and this field that you're in through your research. So this is why I say the research topic is very important. And then after that, what I want us to do is that we're going to have TikTok videos or TikTok lives every Sunday, three to four o'clock, where you get the opportunity to ask me questions. I will be having other people from other um, as different streams such as your sciences we're going to have people in stem we're going to have people in economic management sciences we're going to have people in humanities because we want to make sure that this is a nice holistic channel we're not just only we're focusing on one field of study but we're focusing on a multiple so come along with me subscribe at the bottom because I will be giving you insight I will be helping you along the way and then we are going to make research easy and again study with dmods join me on this journey